I had a customer reach out to me and ask if I could do a couple of custom designs on these cups. The first one has some hearts on it and the second one has an outline of a husky, which that one is going to be a challenge, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can come up with and I really hope that my customer loves it. I'm going to start with the easy one. We're gonna design the heart cup first. You have seen me do this in another video and I will link that down in the description below so that you can go and check that one out. I'm not going to talk to you too much about that design, but once we get to the Husky cup, we're really gonna dive in and I'm gonna tell you my process from start to finish. Let's get the heart cup out of the way and then we will work on the Husky. I just have a little uh, fireplace with some Christmas music going right now just to get me in the holly jolly spirit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Cricut Design Space and I need to turn on my machines. Oh, so we're going to get that baby going. This is my first Cricut that I ever purchased and I absolutely love it. She's been a dream. All right, here we are with the lovely vinyl selection. Since the cup is kind of a medium pink color, thinking this one will be really nice because it kind of has a purpley pink sheen to it. I think I'm going to go with that one. Although this one is cute too. It has kind of a yellow tint, but it also has that pink vibe. I'm actually, I think I'm going to ask the customer because I can get a hold of them really easy. I'm going to ask them which one they prefer. I have this really bright fluorescent one but I don't think that's right for this. These are rose gold which probably won't show up very well on the cup and I don't want to overwhelm them with options so I think I'm just gonna go with these two choices and if it was me for that pink cup I honestly think I honestly think I would go with the more peachy tone. I'm gonna see what he says. I, th I have a feeling he's gonna go for that one. So I'm gonna ask him and uh, then we'll get it cut. I'm gonna go ahead and weed all this. I'm not gonna time lapse it for you guys just because you've seen this before if you saw my double circle cold cut for Skylar. I went through the whole process with you in that video. I'm gonna go ahead and weed all this, then I'll be back. We've got that on there. It's looking great. I don't really wanna put any more large hearts. I don't really have room for more large heart. I might be able to put one down here, but I think it's good how it is. So I'm gonna go to the lid now. There we go. So cute. I love adding a little extra to the lid. I think it's adorable. The next cup, which is going on this green sparkly little number here, is going to be a husky cup. And this is a very custom order because I don't have anything like this at all. What I'm gonna do is I've gone on to a site called unsplash.com. They have a bunch of free pictures that you can use. These artists and photographers take pictures of their work and they upload it to this site. It's essentially, it's royalty free. You don't have to pay for any of these and you can use them as stock photos and stuff like that. There is an option where you can port the photographer or the person that uploaded the images. And so I really like this site because it helps them and it helps small creators. So I found this inspiration photo. I held down my finger and I added it to my photos. And then I went back to Procreate I went to add and I inserted a photo. You could also use the new reference feature. So if you turn the reference on, you can import an image or you can also see what's on your canvas if you're working on fine details and you zoom in and stuff. But I use the image. From there, what you can do is just use it as a reference and start drawing the outline of your project. Kind of start drawing and then you can kind of tweak it to whatever you want. So I already did all the drawing part because this is a cup tutorial, not Procreate tutorial. I already have it all done and this is what it looks like after I've got it all ready to go. There we go. So that is what it looks like. I've just got the general outline. In order for it to be translated into a cup decal, it has to be very basic and very simple. So 
I figured that that represents a husky pretty well. You can tell it's a husky. It's got the husky face and it's only going to be two parts. It's going to be the tongue and it's going to be the black outline. Where you see the white, that's actually going to show through to the cup on the back. I don't like layering a bunch of vinyl. The tongue layering is going to be problem for me enough. I'm actually going to make the rest of the husky see through to the back of the cup. And I'm going to see if he's okay with that design. I'm going to cut one out first, get it on the cup so that he can kind of see what it looks like. And then we'll go from there. I'm thinking like an all over design. So I'm going to cut a whole bunch of them out and then just put them all over the cup instead of doing like something I was thinking of incorporating the logo. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to cut a whole bunch of this out and then paste it all over the cup and then put the person's name on the back of the cup. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy the canvas. So I'm gonna take the background out. I'm going to come over here to copy canvas. And then I'm, I wanna see what it's gonna look like on the cup. So I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna go to my, where is it? Cup mockups. And I'm going to use this guy. I already have a whole bunch of images still in here. I'm actually going to group all those together and delete it because I don't need it. Okay, so I'm going to add a new layer on top and then I'm going to come over here and paste my canvas. Now, this does have the white background. I might have to take that off that I can get a better representation because it's not going to look like this. But for now, just to get kind of an idea, I'm going to move them all around the cup like this. And I'm going to wrap them to the cup so that you can kind of get a better, a better picture. So if we go, actually the logo, I want the logo on the top. And I'm going to do a clipping mask to the cup. And I'm going to do that for each one of these. And you can see how it, it clips to the cup. So it looks like it's actually wrapping around it. I think that's kind of cute. Again, I don't know how well it's going to translate in vinyl. So we're just going to have to kind of go with it and make one and see how it actually goes. Oh, wouldn't it be cute to actually move one of these heads on top of the logo? <laughs> I feel like that would be so cute, but... Um... I don't know if that would translate very well. That's potentially what it could be like. I'm going to go ahead and get one printed and put on the cup and see how it goes. Sign space. I'm going to find my image and upload it. So I know it's in my downloads and it is untitled. So it's right here. So I'm going to upload it as complex and I want to get rid of the white. There we go. That's all the white on there. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to save it. Oh, I need to do two separate ones. I need to do the tongue too. So I'm going to get rid of the tongue <laughs> and you see how we've got that outline. We need to get rid of that. So I'm going to take the eraser. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to get rid of that. And I could do this all on Procreate and upload them individually, but I think this might be faster. Okay, so I've got the tongue gone. So I'm gonna continue and upload this. So this is the black layer. And then I'm gonna upload again, the same image. Okay, slight change in plans. I'm coming back in here to get just the tongue layer. I'm going to take both of the other layers off so I just have the tongue. And then I'm going to export that to my MacBook so that I can use that as a separate layer that I've uploaded the tongue separately. I'm going to browse and it's probably in another untitled. Where's it? Did I already title it? Oh yeah, I titled it Husky. <laughs> so here it is complex and just take a peek. Yeah, it looks good where we want it to save it as a cut image. So that's what we're going to do. And now I can click on both of these and import them. And the tongue, I want to turn pink. 
so that I can see it. So now I want to resize both of these at the same time. So I'm going to select them both and I'm actually going to come up here and let's do very small. Let's do four inches just to kind of get it where we want it. And so I think I want, I want them to, oops, I want them to be, that's about, that's almost two inches tall and the logo is two inches tall. So I think that might work if we have them about two inches tall. So now I can move the tongue into position, which is like right here. And that's just what it's going to look like. All right. So now that I have my two layers, I do want to make sure that I cut them separately from each other because the husky needs to be black and then his tongue needs to be like a pink reddish color. And I am limited to the vinyl colors that I have on hand. So I'll have to see what color I have that will work the best for that. So if I was to make a whole bunch of these at once, I would um, duplicate this a whole bunch of times, but I just want to test one. So I'm going to go to make it and it's going to separate out my two layers. Uh, when you're doing vinyl, this is just how it works. I don't want to cut on one mat. I want to cut on two mats, but I'm going to tell myself, okay, the tongue needs to be pink. So what I'm going to do is click on the dots and move the object to the first mat. And it will turn it black, but that's fine. That's just kind of a guideline for you. It doesn't really matter for the Cricut. So I'm going to put it up here between three and four. So I know that for my Husky, I need a piece of vinyl that's like two by three. And for the tongue, I need a one inch square um, that I can put in that area. But I honestly try and go a little bit larger just so I have some wiggle room. So I'm going to hit continue and it's going to read my Bluetooth machine. I'm going to grab some vinyl and get it on the sh um, mat and cut it out. See what it looks like. All right, here's my cutting mat. We need to get a piece of black and a piece of red. And I have some black right here. Let's see what kind of red I have in my scraps here. So those are black. These are white. Well, gold. These are white. This is the other colored vinyl that I have. I do have that bright red color. Now what I'm going to do is take those and the Husky is going to cut out right over here front and center and then the tongue is cutting out between the three and the four like we set up. So I'm putting this red between the three and the four. Let's get that loaded. Okay, so the mat gets loaded. It's on vinyl setting. There it is in the machine. And we're ready to cut. Okay, unload. That was really quick for one. So now we can test it. All right, so now we'll get these off the mat. So to get them off the mat, I like to turn my mats upside down on my workspace. It's clean and dry and free of debris. And then I'll peel the mat away so that it doesn't peel the vinyl up too much. So now I'm going to use some scissors. Oh, I need to click finish on my screen. I'm going to trim that off and get rid of the excess. And then I'll weed it in a second, but I'm gonna do the same thing for the tongue. So I'm going to find the tongue and cut that out. And now we'll get out the weeding tool. What a cute little tongue. Oh, it's cute. Hopefully that red is not too red for the cup because it's going to go on to a green glitter cup. And I'm just wondering if it is going to be maybe too red. You might want to go for a more pink tone. Uh, when you're weeding these really delicate, intricate designs, you really want to be careful, like with the eyeballs and the nose. 
and the side of the snout here and then there okay <laughs> look at that <laughs> it looks like a vampire dog <laughs> okay so now that we have that, there is just this little tiny white spot on the nose because it's like supposed to be kind of like a reflection. So now that I've layered it, what I want to do is I want to pick the tongue up first with transfer tape. And then I'm going to put that transfer tape directly on this image so that I can line the tongue up with it. I could I could do it either way. This isn't a complex image, so I feel like it would be fine if I put this on the cup and then put the tongue over it on the cup. And actually, I'd probably, I'd probably be more accurate if I did it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. Switching it up. I'm going to do that first. I've got my cup, taking the lid and the straw off and putting it in my little holder here. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to get a piece of transfer tape for these. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to pick that tongue up. And I'm going to trim that transfer tape off. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to pick the face up. And trim the rest of this tape off so I can reuse it. Boop. Okay. And my scraper. So I'm going to scrape that onto the tape so I get a nice, easy transfer. Hopefully, that's the goal. Okay, here's the cup. Here's the husky face. I'm going to put this over here because I want it to be pretty prominent when they are looking at the front. So I'm actually going to put it on this side. All right, so we've got that down. Use the scraper tool to really get that onto the cup really well. Okay, and then carefully work this up. And I think I'm gonna have to go from the ears down because the mouth portion where the tongue goes, those really fine points, they're gonna wanna come up really easily. Be very gentle, walk it. Make sure you don't pick up those eyes on the way. I'm trying to use my thumb to hold it down as I peel the tape back so that it really sticks. Okay, good there. There we go, that's better. Really fine details on this guy, which should be fine once it got, gets onto the cup. It's just getting it onto the cup. That, that's the tricky part. But when you wash it and everything, it should be just fine. Okay, now, I feel like I probably should have made this piece a little bigger. And the tongue could be slightly bigger too. There's a tiny, tiniest gap, but honestly, it's not. Like, that's just the nature. That's just how it is. I think it's totally fine. Let's go from the top. Again, peel from the top down. Very carefully. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. And then just picture that all over the cup. <gasps> okay, I'm going to text him a picture of it right now and see how he likes it. I'm going to take a picture. Husky cup. Yee, he's so cute. So now I'm going to replicate that all over the cup. I'm probably going to do, I don't know, let's get the name on it first because the name is going to be large and on this side. And then I can um, add the rest of the huskies, get them all cut out and slap them on and we can get this in the mail too. Okay, so I'm going to customize my husky. Let's make this bigger so we can see. And then I'm just going to select it and duplicate it a few times. Actually, I don't want to duplicate it that many times because um, I need to be able to move it. <laughs> so select it, duplicate it, move. And then we'll do it again. I'm not quite sure how many to do. He's so darn cute. Duplicate another row. 
can get more of this if I need it but basically without if I don't attach things the program will just tell me where it wants to put it so I don't have to worry about me getting most room out of anything one two three four five six and then the one on the cup would be seven and then I do need Ada's name so that is the name on the cup and then we'll go with the Dahlia print and make it big and bring down the space between to there and then we'll weld that together I need to unlock this because I want it to be shorter than 2.75 I want it to be about 2 so I think like 5 by 2 is a good a good size okay perfect so now I'm just gonna lock it back lock it back up okay and we're ready to make it Cricut knows what it's doing it knows how to get the most the most space out of out of the area possible okay so I think that's about good there so I need eight by about five and then the tongues they're all just in a row so I'm I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be fine and I'm not gonna bother moving them I'm gonna leave them on mat two. that way it's just easier because I would have to move every single one of these individually unless I go back I could turn these black and then they'd all be on the same mat but I'm not gonna worry about it this is just this is simple how it is I need to turn back on Mr. Cricket or Mrs. Cricket or the Cricket and get my mat back out and then I need more black because this black is not enough. Actually, I can get some of the Huskies out of this. I'm going to give it a whirl. It goes to six. It's on here from a little over two inches to just past six inches. I'm actually going to cancel this and go back, cancel the cut, and I'm going to move Ada down to like the four inch mark. It's not quite long enough to get all those guys. All right, never mind. I thought I was going to try and conserve space, but I'm not. All right, that is it. There's our Husky cup all ready to go. That's it for the video. I'm going to package up this cup and get these out. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing that behind the scenes, the making of a cup. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!